Hi everyone, coming to you from Frankston, Australia, south of Melbourne, and taking a couple days just quiet before heading up to Sydney and off to Mudgee for a seven-day retreat. That's going to be a retreat that we share with uh, about 30 people total up there, and you are certainly welcome to come up to Mudgee and join us. There's still some spaces available. So it's just beautiful the way everything is unfolding, and just so grateful for all the miracles and everyone that graces my pathway as I seem to move through time and space. Wrapping up here another world tour. I can't even remember. I can't even count how many world tours there's been, but it's another beautiful world tour coming to a close up here in Mudgee. And look forward to taking some time, quiet time, back there in Utah at the end of that retreat and after a little bit of travel down here up to the Gold Coast area. There is a gathering coming up on the 11th in the evening there in Kuji, the Sydney area, over by the water. Very much, very close to Kuji Beach. So, hope to see you there if you're in the Sydney area. And it's just been an amazing 25 years actually of travel world travel starting around 1991, mostly beginning travel then in the United States, but uh, popping up into Canada there, Salt Spring Island, in 1991 on the first big road trip, five and a half week road trip across the continental United States and up to Salt Spring Island and back across through the Midwest. And all these years later, it seems like this is wrapping up the 25th year of travels. And I've just loved all the holy encounters, meeting all of you along the way. It's been a beautiful rinsing of the mind and a beautiful extending of all the love of the heart. And so it's, yeah, I just see how miracles are the means and enlightenment is the experience that is inevitable. So a lot of you have asked about what can you do to deepen your spiritual practice. And if you're working with A Course in Miracles, I've said many, many times that combination of relationships and silence using the mirroring of relationships to expose and release thoughts and concepts and beliefs, and then the stillness underneath that energizes you, that calls you, that helps you continually deepen into a deeper and deeper experience of the presence of God's love. That is what your life is for. That is what our life is for. That is our li very life. And the symbol of community has been used over the years. I think myself and many people that I have met were quite surprised to see the symbol of living with others in purpose being used in a way that was a fast track to clear the judgments and the opinions and the debris of the egoic mind, to clear it all away and come to that pristine stillness and silence within. So it's beautiful to have watched the communities sprout and, and spread and expand. And I look back to my journeys and initially 
When I began my travels 25 years ago, we had a small community there in Cincinnati, Ohio, pretty loosely organized. I, I guess you could call it a community. We were a small group of mighty companions supporting each other in our journey and our work with the Course. And then as I traveled in those early years, uh, around 93, the community shifted up to Traverse City, Michigan. And then in 94, the community shifted out to Denver, Colorado. And then in 95, the community shifted over to Lansing, Michigan. And then around 1996 was when the Peace House in Cincinnati came in. So those late 90s were the beginnings of a community based in Cincinnati, Ohio. A place called Winton Place, which is, is still there. It's, still, it's called Spring Grove Village right now, but it was called Winton Place. And that also formed the first base for some deep mystical experiences, deep meditation, and also for travels that uh, increasingly began to broaden out from the United States and Canada to other countries of the world. I think around 2003, the March of 2003 marks the, the, be the beginning of quite a lot of international travels by flying down to Buenos Aires, Argentina from Cincinnati back in March of 2003. So here we are, 2016, and those initial just beginnings of the symbol of spiritual community being used in the awakening, those have expanded and spread and now we have communities in Mudgee, Australia, where I'll be in several days as we open up on the 4th of November and run through the 10th with our week-long retreat. And there are communities in Utah, in Camas, Utah. There's another community down in Chapala, Mexico. And another active community over just about an hour outside of Barcelona, Spain. So we have watched these communities spring up and shine and share and extend the love of Christ. And that community symbol has been used for uncovering and exposing the ego. And it's a shared purpose, a very deep shared purpose that has unfolded in, in amazing ways. And I would say at this point too how the communities really are very supportive of my international travels. Just this year alone, 2016, I've seen myself visit Australia twice. I've been in Mexico, I've been to Canada, I've had some gatherings there in the United States, and I've just watched, gone over to Europe, and China has been in there, Japan, the first time I've had gatherings in Japan. So it's been quite a year of world travels and retreats, talks, workshops, gatherings. It's just been an amazing, fun-filled, spirit-led year of shining and sharing miracles all over the world. And I feel that this 
retreat up here in Mudgee coming up in a few days. Uh, that one will wrap up a, a really a big year of world travels and then I think I'll start settling down a bit. Still, still some movement, but I have a feeling uh, mostly I'll be in Mexico and the United States in the, the first maybe seven months of the year at least. So look forward to all types of beautiful gatherings next year. There's, there's a retreat in LA, in LA at the Pacific Palisades. It's called Happy Dream Retreat. It's coming up in early February. And I think I'll be hosting a, a Incurso de Milagros group of students down in Mexico, down there in March. And April there's an Easter retreat in Midway, Utah, and followed up by a beautiful post-conference. It's actually a, a Course in Miracles Easter conference, and there'll be a post-conference gathering there at the monastery, Living Miracles Monastery, between Fruitland and Duchesne, Utah's. And then in May we have the our first Mystery School 30-day program. That's going to be very, very profound and deep. And also we have our weekend celebration, celebrating the elders, the foundation for inner peace in mid-July. It'll be a beautiful celebration at the Living Miracles Monastery. So, things are rolling out and we are accepting devotional stay applications, so if you would like to participate and give Community Living a try, please go to our livingmiracles.org website and on there you will find a devotional stay application and if you fill that out and say which particular community you're drawn to, be it Mudgee, Australia, or Chapala, Mexico, Camas, Utah, or over in Barcelona, Spain, outside of Barcelona, Spain. These communities are thriving, healing, profound, collaborative experiences that heal the mind and leave your mind at rest, leave your mind invigorated, inspired, really feeling the vibrancy, the happiness and the joy of the Spirit. So I hope you will join in and I hope I'll see you at one of those communities because I do tend to move around through these communities, staying at, at one another here and there, and also doing some traveling where I feel a strong call to just go and share and shine. So it's been a magnificent 2016. I am so delighted to shine and share in 2017 and look forward to meeting you look forward to f seeing that beloved Christ light that you are and experiencing the fullness of our reality in the mind of God. Mm, love you so much. <laughs>